Well, hello there, guys. Welcome to some more Field of Glory 2. And today we're going to be trying a campaign with my favorite faction, and that faction is the Sertorians under Quintus Sertorius. You may be asking yourself, why do you like this faction so much? Uh, and honestly, the reason is because the Sertorians uh, are heavily supported by the Portuguese. Um, now, I think we have to take Julius Caesar because Quintus Sertorius was around the time of Julius Caesar, but maybe he'll be around the time of the Rise of Rome campaign, so let's take a look. And if we can find the Sertorians, um, then I'm definitely going to take them. I think we are going to go ahead and try to fight against the baddest of the bad, the Romans. We're going to really have a tough time winning here, but the fact is that the Sertorians and the Romans were not friends. Um, so I think that this will actually work out pretty good. Uh, battle size will put to large. And here we go. So we have to find Sertorians, Seleucid Spanish, Sertorius. Here we go, guys. These are the ones we want. And for our enemy army, we can actually select the Romans. Yes. So Sertorians against the Romans, guys. I can't wait to jump into this battle. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So I hope that our first battle is a victory. I hope it's a success. But of course, only time will tell. We have to go ahead and see what we have to use. Uh, we should be getting a lot of Spanish Squitari troops, maybe some imitation legionaries. These guys are very, very useful in this sort of situation. Uh, so let's take a look here. All right, here we go, guys. And actually, our starting uh, starting uh, setup is not incredible. We do have some Roman legionaries that are fighting for us. You have to remember that Quintus Sertorius got a lot of support from Roman legionaries uh, in Spain. Um, and also from the Lusitanian people, the Portuguese people, essentially. Uh, the Spanish people as well. Um, he was loved. We're going to go ahead and get some Scutari. Let's get some of those. We don't have any missile troops, so I think maybe some slingers would do a good job. But now we're kind of ignoring any no noble cavalry. And I definitely want to get those noble cavalry as well as some light javelin horse to harass the enemy as much as possible. Uh, and possibly another Spanish Scutari unit if we can. Yes. Awesome. Down to 24, we'll get some slingers. And I think we can accept that setup, guys. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. Um, to be honest, I'm a little scared, <laughs> um, to say the least, to face the enemy. Uh, but I think we're going to be able to do this. So we're facing the Romans. Uh, and I think, actually, my setup is going to be similar to my setups before when I'm playing as the Romans. And that's going to be that checkerboard pattern that I love. We also have some warbands. Uh, these could very easily be uh, Lusitanian warbands or some sort of Spanish tribe. Um, they definitely supported Sertorius and saw him as sort of a way to be under the rule of Rome. I mean, let's let's be honest. These, these tribes were already uh, under Roman rule anyway. Um, but be under the rule of Rome, but with their own sort of leader, leader of their choice. Um, now, ultimately, Quintus Sertorius could have been, in history, the new Julius Caesar. You know, he could have replaced Caesar. Um, he won a lot of victories in Spain and was actually rena renowned as a really good general. Um, but, uh, unfortunately, fate stepped in and he was stabbed to death. Um, we're going to hope that that doesn't happen here. So let's get our guys forward and let's end the deployment phase. There we go. End turn. Confirm. Oh, the Romans are already moving forward. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. All right, we'll bite. We'll bite. Why not? Um, let's go ahead. Let's move forward with our light missile units. And actually, I'm, I'm thinking that these light missile units are going to be very important during this battle. I could be wrong, but we've got to try and pepper the Romans and do as much damage as possible before we meet uh, in the middle of the field to fight. Uh, fact is, they just have better trained legionaries. We have legionaries too, but not nearly as well trained as the Romans. And look at that. We've got some other interesting names here. Ionisker, son of Tarkunbirion. So the, we have a lot of um, additional generals, sub-generals, that are probably made up of leaders of a lot of different tribes. For instance, we've got Catulatin, son of Utkidan. Um, and I wonder if this is Quintus Sertorius. Lagunas, son of Basiliebos, is actually our commander-in-chief. So Sertorius might not be around, or maybe he's back at the army camp. Anyway, let's end the turn. Turn it over to the Romans. They're getting awfully close. So I'm going to go ahead, bring my uh, missile cavalry, and I think we'll get first blood here. Two. 
Yeah, baby. We're gonna bring some more around. This missile... Well, this, this noble cavalry. Just when I'm facing forward. I'm gonna go ahead and move these guys forward. The only exception might be this warband. Then again, uh, a general is gonna do really well, but that is our commander-in-chief, so I'm, I'm being a bit risky here. Uh, but we're just gonna move these guys forward. We're keeping the rest behind and hoping for the best. As soon as that line gets close enough for us to start deploying some missile units, that's exactly what we're gonna do, guys. Okay, we got some javelins back. A little bit of the javelin happiness going back and forth. Let's go ahead and hit him again. We could actually charge him, um, but what I've learned from the actual creator of this game is that it's always best to charge missile units when they're disrupted. At that point, you can take your own missile units and they'll most likely break or run away from you, of course. That's also a possibility. All right, let's get stuck in, my friends. I think we can already start firing here with our slingers. We just need to get a little closer. We're going to fire at these Roman legionaries. Move forward with our javelin men, and we're going to toss it right to these guys. Now, hopefully our troops have the wherewithal to run um, as soon as they're attacked. You know, most of the time, these missile troops, once they're attacked uh, by an enemy force like this, they're going to basically pull back and run. But if they have heavy or medium javelins, they won't be able to run. And I didn't bother to look. Um, well, they're light javelin men, so we should be okay. But you should always check that out. Um, I probably should have mentioned that. Let's throw something at these Therofore. And actually, I feel quite comfortable getting a little closer here and throwing another round at the Therofore. I want to break that enemy right, our left. We'll move forward here. The rest of our units, once again, my checkerboard pattern um, idea. I hope it works. Um, but I, I trust in it. And now our general is here in the second line, which is what I want. Keep on moving forward. And I think we end the turn. We'll let the Romans approach us. Um, they definitely have a stronger army, without a doubt. So we're going to need to beat them with clever tactics. And uh, I want to see if we can actually do that. So they actually did manage to hit our slingers. Um, but this might... Oh, uh, they broke our slingers. First blood to Rome. Look at that, guys. They're getting really close with our legions. And now... This is when we need to act quickly and trap the Romans, show them that we are superior, and show them that we are the true Romans. All right, my friends, it's our turn. So first things first, um, this looks like a good opportunity to go ahead and throw some beautiful um, pebbles at the enemy, or hard rocks. In fact, it's quite interesting, um, as far as slingers go, a lot of people don't realize just how freaking amazing slingers are. We're going to actually take Laguna, son of Basileos, our commander-in-chief for the first attack. No, I'm just kidding. We'll attack here. And as you can see, our charge is going to be pretty good. Nothing spectacular, but it's not bad. Um, but basically what I was going to say is the slingers, um, especially Roman slingers, would actually have sometimes metallic, uh, I think it was made of tin, metallic uh, pebbles to toss at the enemy, projectiles I should say. And these things were extremely powerful. Um, and they would actually write threats on these things. They wouldn't just write threats, they would write insults. So for instance, something like, uh, I'm going to have your wife tonight after the end of this battle, things like that. They really would do this, and it's just incredible. Let's go ahead and get another attack here. Three attacks on this unit, on the Therofurai. I see them as a very weak link uh, in the enemy force. And let's see how we do against the Roman legionaries. Ooh, not very good at all. Um, we're going to have to beat these guys one at a time. So let's see if we can get an attack over here. Once again, our impact is not good. Wow. I think all we can do is stand in line and wait for the enemy to approach, uh, to be quite honest with you. We're going to go ahead and form a proper line. We do have these warbands, but even the warbands aren't going to do that well against the enemy. Um, I will go ahead and move forward with these legionaries. I rarely use cavalry. Ooh, got hit. Rarely, rarely use cavalry um, 
to attack an enemy force, but I think that might be about to change. We'll go ahead and see. Let them get a bit closer here and then move in for the kill. That's my idea anyway. Let's hope it works, my friends. Uh, we're also going to start moving our missile units back. They might be of help, and actually we can get a few of them through for a nice little quick attack on the enemy. Anything we can do to weaken them, it's going to help us big time. Alright, let's end the turn, boys. We're charging, guys. 43. We're already fra fragmented. Fragmented. Um, we're already fragmented. They're charging over here. Pretty even on this end. 44, though. Once again, pushed back. Um, these Scutari are not going to be as good as the enemy um, at holding their lines. There's no doubt about that. Um, so we need to find another way to beat them. And I think it's going to involve our cavalry. But look at that. They actually charge in with their general and managed to get some really nice hits there. I'm, I'm a little, little pissed off, to be honest. There we go. We fragmented the Torofore. Fragmented them again. They've broken. We've broken the enemy Torofore, guys. Now we need to use this left flank of ours to push and attack the rest of the enemy. Um, <clears throat> it's that simple. Right here, they actually have a pretty weak unit. And that's the Spanish Scutari. Now, the Spanish Scutari are an amazing fighting force. Don't get me wrong. But against the great General Lagunas, I don't think they stand a chance. Here we go. Flank attack. Enemy impacted. 55. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I hate that our warband's going to keep running, but they're, they're barbarians. That's what they do. They, they keep attacking no matter what. Uh, but let's see if there's something we can do with our cav. And I don't think there is, unfortunately. Uh, we could turn towards the enemy general and maybe face him in battle. Turn around with our general that ran away like a child. What about here? Now, this is actually a pretty weak unit, but we're also opening ourselves up to a flank attack, so we've got to break them quickly. We've already disrupted them. They're pushed back. Very good. Uh, our warband is not going to do very well against these Romans. Uh, let's just be honest. But maybe if we hold them in place, our cavalry can do the rest of the damage. I'm taking a big risk here, but the warband is known for extremely aggressive tactics, and they're known to be pretty brave. So if we can hold them in place, guys, maybe, just maybe, we can do some serious damage to them. Uh, let's go ahead toss some more of our missiles, smash the enemy here with missile fire, and we've disrupted them. They're getting close to possibly breaking. Let's end the turn and turn it over to the dreaded Romans, my friends. Um, obviously, I want you to hit that like button, comment down below. I probably should have said this before, and subscribe uh, to see more, and especially to see the resolution of this battle. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Here we go. That unit's going to break. Yep. And that unit's disrupted. They've been pushed back. And that's interesting. They had a unit behind them, so it was going to be hard to push them back, so they just had to stop. Um, and that's what I was worried about, getting disrupted with the flank attack. Our men held firm, but yeah, we're, we're in a tough spot. We need to bring in our cavalry to save the day. Forty-two, and they broke some Spanish units, and it's actually a general right there, Fabius Abito. Here we go. I think we broke Spanish Scutari. We did. And this opens up the possibility of us ramming into the side of the enemy army. But, of course, this so far is a very, very vicious fight. Definitely the hardest fight I've had in this game um, against the Romans. I mean, we're facing, without a doubt, a superior force. Now, I think we can get a flank charge here. This is what I was hoping for. 49, they held firm, but we did get that flank charge. And actually now, our warband has a much better chance of winning this fight. So who knows, guys? Maybe this is going to work out for us. Maybe it isn't. Nonetheless, I'm a little excited here. Let's see if we can break these bastards. There we go. They are fragmented, so they're badly wounded, basically. Um, and we're going to fire at the enemy general unit here and at any enemy unit that poses even the slightest threat with our missile units. We might as well go ahead and just pepper them with uh, with missiles. 
and see if we can't break them that way. We might not be able to. Now I can go ahead and charge in here, and once again, I think we can get a break or at least severely disrupt the enemy units. 37 fragmented. That's what I'm talking about, boys. And apparently we can charge in with our glorious general Lagunas. Actually, if could be Lusitanian because it could be pre-pronounced uh, Lagunash, but unfortunately Lagunash died in battle. He did manage to break the enemies, but he fell on it in battle on an enemy sword, and unfortunately he's now out of the fight. What are we to think about that, guys? That is an interesting situation to say the least, um, and I really want to see what happens as a result of that. Is that the end of our faction? Is that the end of the battle? It might be. Um, losing a sub-general like that is pretty serious. And in fact, I think that was, no, that wasn't our commander-in-chief. Or was it? It may have been our commander-in-chief. Um, so that's going to definitely complicate things. Um, but hopefully we can pay back the favor here. We're going to charge with our general against theirs. And I want to try and kill this enemy general. In combat, though, he seems to be pretty superior. That being said, we have to hope for the best. Well, guys, thank you for watching this first part. I hope you come back for part two. Make sure to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and take a look at our Field of Glory playlist. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to become a full campaign because we might be beaten in this first battle. Um, but we have a lot of other victories on the playlist for you guys to fawn over. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care and glory to Lusitania and Quintus Sertorius.